ಪ್ರತಿಕೃತ ನಿಯಮರಹಿತ ಶಾದೈಕಮಯೀ ಅನನ್ಯ ಪರತಂತ್ರ ನವರಸ ರುಚಿರ ನಿರ್ಮಿತಿ ಆದೃತಿ ಭಾರತಿ ಕವೇರ್ ಜಯತಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಫಿನಿಷ್ ದ ಪದದೋಷ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಷ್ಟಂ ಅವಿಮೃಷ್ಟ ವಿಧೇಯಾಂಶಂ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿರುದ್ಧ ಮತಿಕೃತ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಾಸಗತ ದೋಷ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಆಟ್ ಐ i don't think i said that neartham very clearly last time so i just wanted to go go through that a little bit because that karikra there nirudha lakshanah kaschit samarthyad abitanavat kriyante sampratam kaschit kaschin naiva tu ashaktitah i don't think i explained that karika really well that is a tantravartikam um or i didn't I did not even explain it so neartham is where the lakshana does not fit properly uh, and uh, kumarile batta gives this definition for lakshana where he says nirudha lakshana ha kaschit samarthyat abidanavat 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 means some lakshanas have the capacity of conveying a meaning just like the primary uh, word if we say uh, uh, vrikshaha vrikshaha has the capability of conveying the meaning of tree just ordinarily we are not going through mukhyartha bhaga or anything of that sort so some words like vriksha etc you have words with popular convention like i said uh, uh, kushalaha kushalaha or lavanyam lavanyam does not mean lavanasya bhavaha but it means lavanyam or beauty so that is nirudha lakshana actually means rudhi or popular convention so those words which by popular convention or prasiddhartha is uh, uh, fixed just like abidhana or abidhana is vachya so abidhanavat like a primary meaning samarthyat by just the word itself when we say kushalaha we don't think of someone who is cutting kusha grass the vyutpatti of that word is kushan lati iti kushalaha person who cuts the kusha grass is called kushalaha but today we don't use it in that sense or for a long time we have not been using it it only indicates a person who is an expert even though the the vyutpatti the etymological derivation of the word is such that only a person with expertise can cut kusha grass it has come to mean that anybody in any shastra any uh, action karmani kushalaha iti arthe upayukta so that is your kaschit some of the lakshana are one minute yes this is rudi mula lakshana uh, this is called rudi mula lakshana just like uh, uh, kushalaha or lavanyam Hmm? now nirudha lakshana ha kaschit so kaschit is some words some lakshanas are called nirudha or rudhimula because they have the same samarthya that is the shakti like abidha like the vachyartha they also have like a based on popular convention we can say that the meaning of this word is this next the second type of lakshana is kriyante sampratam kaschit kaschit lakshana ha some of the lakshana words are sampratam kriyante they are made as and when the situation demands they are created sampratam now at that point of time so if i want to convey the meaning of pavanatvam and chaityam uh, uh, to to that ghosha i say gangayam ghosha tatra i i use prayojana there okay that is your sampradam kriyante kaschit as in as in when the situation demands we try to coin lakshana so like the pisini patram vadati the the, the uh, uh, bed tells me that she has been here does the bed have a mouth to tell me that the girl who has been suffering from viraha has slept here no it cannot it does not have a mouth but there you you say the mukhyartha bada and the uh, it has suchayati ityarthe upayuktah you have the prayojanam there that is called sampratam kriyante the last category kaschit ashaktitah naiva so kaschit sam Uh, the last category of lakshana kaschit ashaktitah because they 
they cannot exist. So, kāschite naiva. Why? Because of ashakti. They do not have the capability of conveying a certain sense, uh, meaning. Shakti is asmatpadat ayamartho bodhvyaha iti ishvara icha shakti. If I am not, if this word is not, does not have the capability of conveying a certain meaning, ashaktitaha, then kāschite, some of these lakshanas, cannot be considered as lakshana. That is what is called yat nishiddham lakshanikam. So that lakshanika word is nishiddha. So it cannot be considered as lakshana. Hence, it is neyaha. Neyaha means nyaya pariharena na, uh, uh, kavehe svechaya kalpaniyaha arthaha neyaha. You automatically, the kavi just imagines that there is something there where there is no rudhi to back up his uh, claim, nor is there a prayojanam that we can see with his expression. Hmm? So, kāschitu naiva, why? Ashaktitaha. It does not have the capability of conveying that meaning. Hmm? So, that's why in that uh, uh, example we saw, chapeta patana tithin karoti te mukham. Your face is uh, slapping the moon. It is as if it is slapping the moon. Slapping only conveys more of violence. As I told you, it does not convey the meaning of winning over. There is no victory in slapping i feel now we will go to till now we saw uh, everything as uh, uh, samasa everything as padagatam and samasagatam but he has not given us examples for samasagatam he only showed us the examples for uh, uh, padagatam and now sama uh, the klishta abhimrushta vidyamsha and viruddha matikrithu are three examples where uh, the three doshas which occur only in samasa. So, atha samasa gatam eva dushtam iti sambandaha anyat kevalam samasa gatam cha. Atha, atha, we say after this, whatever is coming, the, the next three doshas are samasa gatam eva dushtam. Only if it is present in samasa, it is dushtam or the dosha yuktam asti. Otherwise, anyat, anyat means Shruti Kattvadayaha Purva uh, Trayodasha Doshaha. Sarvam Kevalam Asamasagatam Samasagatam. Cha. It is both in Samasagatam and Padagatam. Kevalam means Padagatam. Now, Klishtam. What does Klishtam mean? Very easy one. Uh, but the meaning of it is it is difficult to understand. So, Yataha Artha Pratipattihi Vyavahita. Artha Pratipattihi, the understanding of Artha meaning. Artha Jnanasya uh, Pradibandhakaha Asti Vyavahita. Vyavahita means there is a distance or in understanding the meaning. In Sahitya Darpanam, so what he is trying to say here is instead of saying directly, uh, instead of touching your nose like this, you do this, right? And touch your nose. That is the uh, expression that he is talking about here. So the shloka here is Atri Lochana Sambhuta Jyotihi. Uh, Jyoti Rudgama Bhasi Bihi Sadrisham Shobhate Atyartham Bhupala Tava Cheshtita Bhupala He uh, Rajan Tava Cheshtitam Your actions are very uh, beautiful Atyartham They are um, uh, uh, Sorry Atyartham Shobhate uh, Atyartham Shobhate It is shining forth very much like the uh, rays of the Chandra. So, Jyoti Rudgama Bhasi Bihi, Bhasi Bihi Sadrisham, Kanti Bihi Sadrisham, He Bhupala Tava Cheshtitam. So, just like how the moon's rays bring Ananda to everybody who uh, uh, see the moon, in the same way, anybody who looks at the king also feel very happy. So, Tava Cheshtitam, your actions bring happiness or your actions are uh, uh, shining forth like the uh, rays of the moon. Now, what is the word he uses for the moon here is Atri Lochana Sambhuta Jyotihi. Atri Lochana, from Atri's eyes, you have both the Surya and the Chandra are supposed to have come. Uh, so, here the Chandra has come out of Atri Netra Sambhavaha is uh, uh, Chandra. Uh, so, Atri Lochana Sambhutaha Chandraha 
the atri lochanat sambhutaha jyotihi so the prakasha which came out of atri's eyes atri maharshi's eyes tataha udgamaha bhaha so the bhasa the, the prakasha that has come out of that chandra sadrisham so bhasi bihi sadrisham equal to the kirana that uh, that come out of the jyotis the prakasha that has come from atri's lochana so this is so circuitous and there is no uh, prayojana for such a circuitous expression if there is a prayojana then you can say sabhipraye visheshane and it is a parikara alankara which is a guna which is more a beautification aspect for the kavya as here by saying that the chandra has come out of atri maharshi's lochana there is no prayojanam to it no use for it so atri lochana sambhuta jyoti uh, in sahitya darpana he says kshirodaja vasati janma bhuva prasanna he uses this expression to say jalani prasannani uh, this that waters are very clear so for a clarity of water you don't need so much of adjective there what is the adjective to say he says kshirodaja kshiroda kshirodaha is uh, milk ocean that uh, kshiro kshirabdi kshirabdi uh, kshirabdehe sambhutaya lakshmi so kshirodaja vasati tasyaha vasati hi kamalam uh, so kamala janma bhuhu jalam so kshirodaja vasati janma bhuva prasanna that's the example he gives for klishtam there is no necessity for such uh, uh, an adjective for uh, prasanna or jalam correct atra atrilochana sambhutasya chandrasya jyotihi udgamena bhasa bhasi bihi kumudaihi ityartaha okay so this is another further he takes it not just uh, prakasham so you can you can um, comment it in different ways because the samasa lends to so many different meanings and so i took it as the chandra kanti here he says udgama bhasi bihi udgama he takes it as because of the chandra's uh, uh, kirana udgama bhasi bhasi means that which blooms which is your lily flowers so he his uh, cheshtitam his actions the king's actions are equal to the lily flowers i don't know why he says that <laughs> hmm that itself is very difficult to understand so klishtam is uh, established that way as a dosha in this shlokam hmm let's go to the next one avimrishta vidheyamsham avimrishta pradhanyena anirdishta vidheyamsha yatra tat this is a very uh, interesting topic vidheyamsha uh, first we have to understand what is vidheya and uddeshya so vidheya only then can we understand why if the vidheyamsha is apradhana then what is the problem okay so first is there is something that we know about an object say for example someone is trying to introduce someone to you then you say you see this person in front of you this is so and so so the person we see we already know that there exists a person like this we have seen that form and we are seeing that form of that person in front of us and someone is introducing i am panditaha or you know that someone is a scholar and he is you already know him as a scholar panditaha saha aduna ganam pathayati sangeetam pathayati he also teaches music so that part is unknown that he teaches music is something which is unknown whereas the part that he is a pandita is well known to us so the part that is well known is called uddeshya ya yam uddishya kriyate vidhiyate so yam uddishya ityukte we know that person before and that uddeshya part is something that is already known and we are attributing an unknown part to that to that known part what is that unknown 
sangeetam paathayati that becomes the unknown which means what, what gains prominence in these two the vidheyamsha is pradhana always what we know need not be stressed again we know that because if someone says i am pandita ho i know that i am sangeetam pad that i didn't know then that becomes pradhana so the panditatvam or what we know before is actually uh, uh, something that is called uddeshya anuvadyam it is also called pratiyamanam yet shabdam siddhatvena pratiyamanam that is uh, uh, first which is already siddham or established tat uddeshyam or it is also called anuvadyam uh, uh, that which we don't know before apurva bodha vishayi bhutam is vidheyam hmm? that which we don't know and it is something new is called vidheyam and uh, that vidheya cannot stand independent of something it it is in uh, uh, connection with the uddeshya uddeshya sambandhitaya apurva vishaya upasthapanam tad apurva vishayam cha vidheyam okay this is your uddeshya vidheya bhava and here in the uddeshya vidheya bhava vidheya has to be pradhana that is the most important one and in an expression it should not lose its importance now when i say yaha panditaha saha sangeetam pathayati there yaha panditaha and saha every time it need not come with that yat tat combination it can be anything i can say ghataha neelaha i know ghataha but i am talking of the neela ghataha so tatra visheshanamshah vidheya uddeshya varnaniya ghataha even in visheshana visheshya bhava you have this combination of uddeshya and vidheya okay now in kavyam what we know before or what we want to emphasize on is called the vidheyamsha if that vidheyamsha does not have a prominence in that shloka then there is a dosha called avimrishta vidheyamsha or vidheya avimarsha it is also called vidheya avimarsha or avimrishta vidheyamsha avimrishta apradhanyena nirdishta or pradhanyena anirdishta vidheyamsha tasmat ಅಭಿಮೃಷ್ಟ ವಿಧೇಯಾಂಶ ಇದು ದೋಷ ನಾಮ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹಿ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯರ್ ನಾವು ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಐ ಗೋಟ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹಿ ಹಿ ಗಿವ್ ಸಮ್ ಫೋರ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಟು ವಿರುದ್ಧ ಮತಿಕೃತ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ಸಾ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಷ್ಟಂ ಅಭಿಮೃಷ್ಟ ವಿಧೇಯಾಂಶ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿರುದ್ಧ ಮತಿಕೃತ ಆರ್ ಸಮಾಸಗತ so he is going to deal with samasa for klishtam he did not say about which samasa or anything any samasa it doesn't matter here for avimrishta vidyamsham he is giving us examples of bahubrihi first first shloka is an example of bahubrihi samasa second shloka is karmadhare samasa the third one is bahubrihi in a taddhita form that is the third one the fourth one is nan samasa after the nan samasa he gives two more shlokas which are not dosha so be clear about that in when you have to use nan how should you use it that is actually those two are counter examples just like how we saw in avachitya chara where he gives an example and a counter example in the same way here also he gives a, a, an example for nan samasa and he gives two counter examples as to how we have to use it okay if we have time we will cover the entire six shlokas otherwise we will see how it goes hmm? so the first one here is bahuvrihi generally in bahuvrihi it is called anyapada pradhanya if the bahuvrihi example uh, usually we say pitambaraha pitam ambaram yasya saha uh, uh, pitam ambaram yasya saha so the pradhanyam is not for pitam nor is it for ambara so there is no uttara pada pradhanya there is no purva pada pradhanya there is it is called anya pada pradhanya yaha pitam ambaram dharati tam mahapurusha prati aham vadam so here 
the pradhana is the purusha who is wearing pitam and ambaram he normally wears pitambara but today he is wearing shwetambara so i can't say shwetambara hasa he is so vishnu is not shwetambara here hey, vishnu is pitambara if he comes in a red cloth we will still call him pitambara because the the word pitambara does not indicate pitam nor does it indicate the ambara it indicates the purusha who is associated with the pitambara so it is called anyapada pradhanya in bahuvrihi samasa it is anyapada eva pradhanya naturally it follows that if the videyamsha is included inside the samasa then it is a dosha avimrishta videyamsha so which means the pradhana part if it has been included into the if i have to only talk about um uh, shanka chakra gada panihi i i want to say that shanka chakra gada panihi vishnu uh, he is hitting someone with his uh, chakram then the chakra should be outside of that uh, samasa it should not be within the samasa if it becomes within the samasa then the chakram loses its prominence we are only looking at the person who is having the chakra in his hand okay uh, once we look at the udaharanam we will understand this more it's a bit of a uh, difficult uh, shlokam let's see so murdham udvritta krita virala gala galat rakta samsakta dhara dhara ಧೌತ ಈಶ ಅಂಘ್ರಿ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಉಪನತ ಜಯ ಜಗತ್ ಜಾತ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಮಹಿಂ ನಾಂ ಕೈಲಾಸ ಉಲ್ಲಾಸನ ಇಚ್ಛಾ ವ್ಯತಿಕರ ಪಿಶುನ ಉತ್ಸರ್ಪಿ ದರ್ಪ ಉದ್ಧುರಾಂ ದೋಷ್ಣಾಂ ಚ ಯಾಂ ಕಿಂ ಎತತ್ ಫಲಮಿಹ ನಗರಿ ರಕ್ಷಣೆ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಯಾಸ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹನುಮನ್ ನಾಟಕ ದಿ ಸೀನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ uh rama's uh, sena has besieged the entire lanka they have come and uh, uh, surrounded uh, the lanka rurodha lanka uh, vanarehi so he he is completely uh, laid siege over lanka now what happens ravana is talking about his sthiti here he says lanka is completely surrounded by them and my prowess my hands and heads are now Uh, making an effort to protect only this nagaram now what is the fame that i have for my hands they have uh, um, shaken the kailasa before right kailasa ullasana ichcha vyatikara pishuna utsarpi darpa udhuranam doshnam yesham kim etat phalam what is the use of my hands and heads murdhnam doshnam cha kim etat phalam iha what is the use of those things yet nagari rakshane prayasaha i am only making an effort to protect just one small town in another shloka you will see swarga gramatika vilunthana vrithochunaihi kime vipujai uh, my uh, it's a, i have treated the swarga as a gramatika swargam was like one village for me in my hands and i have vilunthana i have just uh, Uh, shaken the entire swarga as if it is one small gramam tadrishe uchunaihi my hands have been uh, uh, are, uh, he feels so arrogant about himself uh, by treating that uh, gramam like that uh, sorry swargam like that so here the same way he is also very prideful about his hands doshnam his shoulders which is uddhura uddhura um, um, capable it is capable of doing anything hmm? uh, shakti yukta how uh, because of the darpa because of the arrogance that is there great arrogance utsarpi darpa because of the extreme arrogance that is there in me why i had the uh, desire to just uh, remove that kailasa or just lift up that kailasa Huh? he was so involved in that uh, purana katha is there no purana katha where he wanted to lift up the kailasa completely hmm? uh, so uh, kailasa ullasana uh, removing or lifting the kailasa icha vyatikara vyatikara means it is a, a, an excessive desire to remove the ullasa many meanings for vyatikara uh, here it is an excessive atishaya 
So hicha atishaye na pishu na. So that my arrogance has been indicated because of my desire to remove, lift up the entire kailasa. So that shows my arrogance, and that arrogance. Because of that arrogance, my body is also capable of performing all these actions. But what is the use of it? I am only protecting my city here. I can't even go out of my city, let alone reach Kailasa. Huh? Next, uh, the Murdhnam. Now the adjective for his heads. How were they? He shows his uh, um, prowess there. See, he had. Because Shiva had not uh, uh, shown himself in front of him, he was doing uh, tapas and uh, uh, trying to please Shiva. He started cutting each and every head of his and putting it as a prasadam for uh, 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 Shiva. So here, Murdhnam Udvritta Kritta Avirala Gala Galat Rakta Samsarga Dhara Dhauta Isha Angri. Prasada, Ovanata, Jaya, Jagat, Jada, Mithya, Mahimna. Now, his, uh, the Murdha has a very false Mahima, Mithya, Mahima. It has a very false greatness. Uh, uh, what is that false fame that it has? By getting a victory. Jaya, Jagat, Jada, Mithya, Mahima. Because he got a victory over the entire world. And that victory was possible because of what? Isha, Angri, Prasada, Upanata, Jaya. That jaya, that victory was got because of uh, 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 Shiva's grace. And how did Shiva's grace come? He had washed Shiva's feet with his blood. Right? Some rakta samsarga dara dhauta isha angri. He washed Shiva's feet with the dhara, the flow of rakta, samsakta. Samsakta means the uh, uh, thick raktam that is flowing from his. Uh, uh, cut uh, heads from his cut uh, the neck. And uh, what is that? Avirala Galat. Avirala Galat. Avirala Gala Gala is Kantha. Kantha Galat Galanti Sravanti Raktam. So Aviralam continuously. Why? Because Udbritta Kritta. He cut it uh, uh, very forcefully. Udbritta. He very Bhankarena Kritta Kartita Avirala uh, continuously. Santata Galatu Gale Gale means Kantham. So Kantatu Galatu Rakta Samsarga Dhara Dhara Bihi Dhaute Dhautau Isha Angri Prasada Tasya Prasadena Upanata Jayaha Tena Jayena Jagatu uh, or Jaya Jagat. So he won over the entire world and because of that, that winning over that victory is a Mithya Mahima. See, he is won over the entire world. Now he can't even protect his small city. Nagari Rakshane. Uh, very nice one. Now what is the problem here? Shloka is okay. Now that Mithya Mahima Atha Atra Mithya Mahimatvam Na Anuvadhyam Apitu Vidheyam What we know already or what Ravana knows already is that his heads have because of sacrificing each and every head of his, he kept cutting each and every head of his. Because of sacrificing his heads, he attained a victory that is known. That that victory is false is the Pradhanam here. Because if there is no use for that victory here. It is a Mithya Mahima. If you have put that Mithya Mahima inside the Samasa, Mithya Mahima Yeshamte uh, or Yesham Tani Murdhamsi. Now, what happens here? The whole thing indicates the heads and it does not indicate the um, uh, Mithya Mahima, which is the Vidheyamsha. We need the Mithya Mahima to be the Vidheyamsha, which should be the Pradhanam here. Atra Mithya Mahimatvam na Anuvadhyam. It is not something which is known. Uh, tathu aprasiddham, natu prasiddham. Whereas vidayamsha, it is not prasiddham. We have to uh, indicate it later. Now in a bahuvrihi samasa, because the padas in the bahuvrihi samasa are apradhana, we already know that. Pitam, ambaram, but we know yellow color, we know the cloth which is yellow color, but we don't know the person who is 
wearing the yellow color cloth and that person becomes the pradhana in the same way here also mithya mahima should not come into the samasa it actually should be outside because we are act, uh, we have to um, indicate that the victory that he got is actually false you get the idea hmm any doubt okay so next one is no sulma kind of silly doubt no problem the ne endha lingathla edu stri lingathla ka purila murdha murdha murdhanam murdhana ha va ha idu vand murdham udvrittam purila shlokathla murdhnam alla murdhnam o murdhnam okay enakku murdhni dane murdha murdhano is idu bolinga ஓகேஷன் <laughs> <laughs> எதை குவாலிஃபை பண்றது புரியல மஹிம் நாம் குவாலிஃபைஸ் மூர்தனாம் வெரி கிளியர் சோ மித்யா மஹிமா ஏஷாம் தே மூர்தானஹ ம் தேஷாம் சோ மூர்தனாம் தோஷ்நாமுக்கு வந்து அட்ஜெக்டிவ் இஸ் தி अदर वन தட் அட்ஜெக்டிவ் இஸ் வெரி கிளியர் இஃப் யூ லுக் அட் தட் தட் இஸ் தர்ப உத்துராணாம் தோஷ்நாம் கிம் பலம் சோ தி கிம் பலம் பிரயோஜன ரஹிதம் பிகம்ஸ் தி விதேயாம்ச and uh, it, it fits beautifully so if that mithya mahima also if he had not used the mithya mahima or just uh, prak- prakarsha mahima then it would have been fit there would be a, no, no dosha there another point okay next um next one yathava this is karmadarya samasa uh, sarastam nitamba avaropayanti punah punah kesara damakanchi ஞாசீகிருத்தி மன்மதாபம் from his hand sarastam api na alakshayat it just went away it just slipped away from his hand even that he could not uh, he did not uh, look at the bow that just slipped away from his hand so tadrishi tadrishi is the you know he is in that state of mind samanatha and to give him some confidence parvati comes in so and he sees parvati and uh, uh, his maurvi மதுக்கரமயி they can never stand in one place bees but they just stand and that is his maurvi there is the imagination or the concept of manmatha is such that anything which is uh, impossible in the world can be made possible because of manmatha so he has a maurvi maurvi is the bow string the bow string is actually madhukara mai and a string of bees is his maurvi srastam chapam api na alakshayata when he did not even recognize that his bow had slipped away from his hand now where is the question of maurvi where is the question of the bow string and how can he take an arrow and put it on shiva so that he will fall in love with parvati and the kumara jananam can happen nothing can happen here so he needs a backup plan here 
that is then she walks in when parvati walks in she is wearing a kanchi kanchi is uh, no odiyan uh, her hip chain right so that kanchi is like a dvitiya maurvi for him karmukasya smarena karmukasya dvitiya maurvi nyasi kritam iva sah smaraha snanavida snanavida smarena sthanavida smarena he knows exactly where to keep things no some people when they arrange their houses it will be haphazard but some people you know it is like a museum in their house they will keep everything in its proper position and arrange it so beautifully that is thanavith smara mannatha knows where to keep things properly it seems na sthanavida smarena uh, um, kanchim nyasikritam dvitiya maurvim iva tat hi aropayanti she is actually walking with her uh, the kanchi and that uh, hip chain is slipping from her waist nitambat avaropayanti she is she is trying to put it back srastam nitambat srastam avaropayanti she keeps putting it back aro uh, as it keeps falling down she keeps keep putting it back in its position ha huh? kesara uh, dama kanchim punah punah so if you look at these girls small girls who are all you know they 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 will wear their mother's dress or uh, the jewels which their mothers wore or sisters wore uh, it will not fit correctly but it will keep slipping away from its position and they will keep on doing that as and then they talk to their friends and everything so that is the imagination here when she is walking nitambadu avaropayanti srastam api kanchi that that she keeps on pulling it again and again punah punah again and again kesara dama kesara dama is a Uh, it is made of uh, ka- suvarna so suvarna kanchi that it is as if manmatha has nyasi kritam iva dvitiya maurvim karmukasya if in case his bowstring just vanishes away he needs another bowstring so that kanchi on her hips seem as if it is a second uh, uh, replacement for his maurvi for his bowstring now here the problem is anyasi krita means he kept it as a backup dvitiya maurvi is the point of uh, contention here he says dvitiyam cha dvitiya cha maurvi cha dvitiyam manmatha does not need a second maurvi he does not need a second bowstring he only needs one and even if it is an unpredictable bowstring he still can make do with that that is his greatness right na the dhanu pushpam maurvi madukaram ee pancha vishaya eka apangatte labdha jagadida anango vijayate he just wins over the entire world with all these unpredictable things so what the poet wants to say is she is so beautiful and her kanchi is can even serve as a maurvi for uh, uh, manmatha which means the dvitiyatvam is the vidheyamsha maurvi is something we know already manmatha's bow has to have a string and that bow string is something which we know before prasiddhatvena we know that nyatam whereas this dvitiyatvam and it is the second maurvi that he has kept there nyasikritam is fine but the second one dvitiyatvam iti amshaha that part is something that is a that is the vidheyamsha so here what happens is dvitiyatvam has become part of the samasa and in samasa actually karmadharaya is an uttarapada pradhanyam hmm? krishna scha ayam sarpaha right so krishna ha sarpaha uh, karmadharaya is actually uttarapada pradhanyam where so here the dvitiyatvam becomes the apradhanya vishesha whereas the maurvi gets the பிராதான்யத்துவம் 
if we change it and say maurvain dvitiyam then it becomes two different objects so the two different words then you can say maurvi is the udeshyamsha and dvitiya is the ubideyamsha that's why he suggests a different patham but that patham was not used by kalidasa because let me uh, if you look at the um, what is that uh, meter you need the prathama the first word in a pada to be hraswam so punah punah it is the the first and third follow a pattern the second and third pada follow a pattern in the first pada and the second pada, third pada you find it's the dirgha it starts with the dirgham idu indravajrala this upajati 2 and 2 apdi proper ah kadama i thought any one can be from indravajra and any one to three ratio in upendra vajra illiya that's what i also thought so which means there can be another pathantara where he says maurvin dvitiyam and you can't fix the reading la uh, there are so many different uh, uh, manuscripts and actually there is one manuscript which says maurvin dvitiyam iti uh, that is also a, a pathantara that you can find there okay mm. but inge concept kuri yeah inge vandu he wants to highlight that if you use the word uh, maurvim dvitiya maurvim then it is wrong then it is a dosha that is what he wants to highlight here okay just like and the dvayam gatam kapalinaha or shlokam varume what is it hmm pinakinaha and kapalinaha there will be a problem with that shloka also in the same way you, you have to determine the pathantara based on you these doshas to avoid dosha so atra dvitiyatvam dvitiyatvam matram utpreksham utpreksham means it is fancied here only that the second one it is the second maurvi second bow string that second part is something which has been utpreksha it is fancied by the poet so that is something newly introduced by the poet hence it is the vidheyamsha and that vidheyamsha becomes apradhana in the karmadharaya samasa hence we say maurvim dvitiyam iti yukta paatha so that is a better reading next one is uh, i think bauvrihi uh, only but he uses it with the in a taddidartha vapur virupaksham he again takes up our uh, kalidasa for a dosham vapur virupaksham alakshya janmata digambaratvena niveditam vasu varesha yadbala mrigaksha vidyate tadastikim vyastam api trilochane and the fifth sarga shiva wants to dissuade uh, uh, parvati from uh, uh, thinking about shiva as her husband so he takes the form of a brahmachari athajina shada dhara pragal bhava so he comes in uh, in the form of a brahmachari and he tries to convince her and says you know asti kimapi kim vyastam api trilochane vareshu yat balamrugakshi balamruga akshi akshini iva akshini yesha so yasya uh, hasa the, the, the he says you have such beautiful eyes like that of a uh, young deer so you yourself are so beautiful and vareshu cha yat mrigyate kanya varayate roopam when you say that the, the girl wants beautiful form mother wants a kulam or vittam papita wants shrutam and all these things in a person now let's look at the qualities of shiva here vapuhu virupaksham he has three eyes anybody in this world has three eyes can you even imagine how ghoram that should be you know bhayankara so virupaksha he doesn't say he doesn't say trilochana and again he repeatedly specifies at the end that trilochane vyastam api asti kim whereas he points out first of all let me address your id uh, kanya varayate roopam first thing a girl wants to look at is the physic it should he should have an handsome uh, physic virupaksha he has uh, uh, odd number of eyes that itself is a minus point next uh, mata kulam mata kulam uh, or mata vittam pita kulam anything you can take pita shrutam there are different versions of that shlokam so one of the parent looks for the kulam alakshya janmata his janma itself is alakshyam we don't know where he was born anadir anantaha cha saha there is no beginning to him nityah kutastha nityah saha 
So where is his Janma? We don't know. Alakshya Janma. Ta, la, uh, yesya Janma na Lakshya. Tadrisha Bhavaha Tasya Vartate. So Alakshya Janma. Ta, next, Digambaratvena Niveditam Vasu. Does he have any wealth to support you? No. Digambaratvena Digambaraha. So Hadikki Eva Ambaraha. He, only the directions are his uh, um, uh, cloth, cloth covering. Digambaratvena Vasu Shelvam, the, the, the wealth, Niveditam. His wealth is known by the fact that he doesn't have any cloth to wear. So the, all three are a minus point for him. So, Vareshu Yatu Mrigyate Tatu Vyastam Api, even one, if you find in him, tell me. Tadastikim Trilochane, is it there? Sklash Loko. I, I'm very hesitant to even point out a dosha in this. It is. Anyway, so Alakshya Janmata is the problem here. Now, Alakshita Janihi Iti Vachyam. Uh, so, Atra Alakshita Janihi. Ja, yes, Janma Na Lakshita is your uh, uh, Videyamsha here. And Alakshya Janmata, Alakshya Janmanaha Bhavaha Alakshya Janmata. So it goes to a Taddhidartha and Bahubrihi. Yesya Janma na Lakshitam uh, Alakshya Janma. That is your Bahubrihi. Alakshya Janmanaha Bhavaha Alakshya Janmata. That becomes a Taddhidartha here. So in this also, because that Alakshya Tvam is your Vidayayamsha. Just like how Vapuhu, Vapuhu is Shariram. That is your Uddeshyamsha, Jnatamsha. Uh, Virupaksham is completely not at all good looking. He has an odd number of eyes. That part is the Vidheyamsha. He's trying to point it out to her and say, listen, the form that you know, it is completely horrible to look at. So that part is the Vidheyamsha, Virupakshatva. Vasu is the uh, Uddeshyamsha, Digambaratvena Niveditam. Niveditam. That is your Digambaratvena Niveditam. The entire phrase is your Vidheyamsha. That is that has a pradhanam because it is separate. Whereas Alakshya Janmata, Alakshita Janihi, if we had uh, changed the whole thing into Vapur Virupaksham Alakshita Janihi, then th th there is no dosha to it. Whereas yeah, every text has only Alakshya Janmata in it. Uh, we don't know why Kalidasa did that, but that's okay. Uh, so that Alankarikas uh, get something to talk about, right? You can't always talk about his perfection. Let's point out something also like when Drishti. So, Alakshya Janmata, whose Janma is Alakshita. We cannot understand or we don't know where, what is his source of uh, uh, birth. So, that Alakshitatvam is your Vidhyayamsha. Janma is something Uddeshyam that we know. Nyatamsha. Here, because it has gone into that uh, uh, um, Bhavrihi Samasa, and then after that, the Tadhitartha has also come about. So, completely, your focus is on something else. Hmm? Next is, uh, he starts off with the Nanyartha. We can't finish this topic, so I will stop with this part, so that it's easier. Um, Abhimrishta Vidayamsha is Abhimrishta Vidayamsha and Nitya Dosha. Yes, this is an Nitya Dosha. You can't, uh, there is no recourse to it because what is Pradhana should be main uh, focus, the, the focus is lost there. Right? The Dushakata Bijam, as he says, is because the Apradhanatvena Uktam, then our focus becomes different, then the Rasapratiti is also gone because of it. So we need the Pradhana Amsha and that Pradhana Amsha focus should be there. Uh, but even in these shlokas, I don't find the problem. It is a Nitya Dosha. It, there, there can be no place where if for Rasa, Shruti Katutvam and all that, when we say Shruti Katutvam, it is very harsh for the ears. It is a Guna in Raudra Rasam. It is a Guna in Krodh Rasam. Whereas uh, Krishnatvam is also a Nitya Dosha. There is no use for... Uh, uh, a, that Krishnatvam at all. You can bring out the meaning. In the same way, Avimrishta Vidayamsham is also a Nitya Dosha. Okay. So we'll stop with this. Any other doubt? Hmm. I'll take up the Nan Samasa 
next class.